but if you find like this this is a v reference okay with this circle a line with circle means v reference we will see all this in the schematic and in the motherboard don't worry i'm going to teach you step by step until you become a professional you can find r or pr there is another type of resistor a network resistor a network resistor is a resistor that contains many resistors you see this one this are network resistor okay also here we have also here network resistors hi before starting studying the laptop schematic step by step i go first to teach you some tips that is very important for every engineer technician or student who want to become professional in schematic reading so let's get started first this line as you can see means a wire okay in the schematic two lines like this means two wires that are not connected and two wires with a dot here means two connected wire okay you can find also like this this symbol means this two wires that are not connected okay so if you find a wire and this sign here means this is a not connected wire okay so now we have here two wire this wire and another wire a tick wire or a bolded wire like this this wire means normal path it can hold a signal or a low voltage for example it can hold a drive signal okay or an enable signal for example about for example 1 volt or 1.2 volt etc okay but this this kind of wire exactly as you can see here do you see here we have this wire a bolted one and we have this wire as you see we have the gate this mosfet this is its gate this is a normal wire we have here just a control signal but this wire hold 19 volt as you see plus v adapter we have here the dc jack okay so this wire means high power trace okay means a high power path or trace okay so if you find this symbol in the motherboard as you can see here or this means this is a voltage terminal here we have plus v also here we have plus v okay but if you find like this this is a v reference okay with this circle a line with circle means v reference we will see all this in the schematic and in the motherboard don't worry i'm going to teach you step by step until you become a professional just follow me with me okay so for this form as you can see so this is in this direction or coming from this direction to this direction and if you find like this as you can see is the opposite from here as you can see to here for example here we have a chip or a control IC and here we have a MOSFET okay so the signal goes here okay but if you find this form as you can see means this is a B directional okay in two in both direction the signal goes in both direction okay now we will see the symbols of the component that we will use in the schematic okay so the first symbol 
is the symbol for the capacitor, as you can see. This is capacitor, okay? This symbol means ceramic capacitor, okay? This symbol with plus hair, okay? Or even this with plus hair means chemical capacitor or polarized capacitor, okay? For this symbol, as you can see here, this is inductor L or PL. The reference you can find in some motherboards, L or PL. This is inductor, okay? This is inductor, okay? Or coil. You can find this for inductor, okay? So, of course, for diode, we have this symbol, as you can see, with anode hair, okay? And cathode hair or plus and minus. You can also find this type of diode, as you can see. So this is a Zener diode. This diode is used to stabilize the current, okay? And this is a normal diode, and this is a Zener diode to stabilize the current. We will see all this in the schematic. We can find also in the motherboard the resistance. This is the symbol for the resistors, as you can see. Okay, or this. Okay, you can find R or PR. The reference for the resistors in the motherboard, you can find R in some motherboard or PR in others. There is another type of resistor, as you can see here, a network resistor. A network resistor is a resistor that contains many resistors. Okay, so this is a network resistor okay network resistor we find this kind of resistor always in the motherboard especially in ram i will show you a ram in the motherboard as you can see here you see this ram this are network resistor a combination of four resistors okay okay also here we have also here network resistors. The same working principle as a normal resistor, but these resistors used to control the flow of current. So we can find also in the motherboard the MOSFET. Okay. So the MOSFET, or we can find a transistor. The symbol for this MOSFET, the MOSFET is this. We have here gate, we have here drain, and we have here source. Okay? Or you can find the transistor, as you can see here. With here collector, emitter, and base here. What about the ICs? So for the IC, in the motherboard is indicated with a square like this this is ice or even a rectangle like this ice or power management okay i will show you all this in the motherboard and in the schematic so for this form as you can see you will find also this form in the motherboard like this with many rectangle and square. So here you will find, for example, here the clock, and for example, here the RAM, here the VGA, here, for example, LVDS, okay, here, for example, ground, and here, for example, power. So this is a chip. This, this is the symbol of the chip in the motherboard. We will see all this. This squares or rectangle means controller. This is, this part is the RAM controller. Okay. So this part designed for the clock. This is connected to the ground. Here we have power. Okay. Here this is connected, for example, to the monitor or to the screen. Here to the V. GA part, etc. Okay, we're going to see two kinds of grounds as you can see 
In the motherboard, you will find two kind of ground. This is the digital ground, okay? And here we have the analog ground. This is the symbol for the digital ground, and this is the symbol for analog ground. And of course, there is another symbol for the chassis ground. This is a chassis ground. But you will not find this kind of ground in the motherboard. So I want to add that, for example, you can find IC. For example, this is an IC. And you will find here P17. Means this IC exists in the page number 17 in the schematic. 